Happy Tuesday. We're going to play some more Champions of Kryn. This is, what, episode four? Four. This game is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I don't remember it being so long, but the first dungeon has taken forever in a day. I mean, granted, we had to restart it the, for the second day, but that's fine. But yeah. You are nobody's died, Vukrul's. You're still Vukrul's the first. Technically Vukrul's the third, but you know, we're not we're not counting too much. Reception of time your twins. Apparently I did too. Because again, I don't remember it being this much this long. Um, okay, so Load save game. I like it that the, the the character box actually shows your save games. Gimpy is raising money so for the National MS are. Society for the tenth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2023 in San Diego is April 22nd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation. Please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you, and happy Tuesday. Okay, so this is our party. Um, Jeff the Cleric is in the first spot because of reasons. I guess we can look at the character real quick. So, level four Cleric of Meshackle. He is our main healer of the group. Meshackle Clerics get a little bonus to their healing. So he's doing that. Armor class zero. Uh, they go 16. Yeah. Damage currently 1d6 plus 3. He is using wearing chainmail. He's got a shield plus 1 and a flail plus 1. And we're carrying around some chainmail to sell once we get back to town or outpost. Then we have Desperador. Desperador is a level 3 Knight of the Crown. Armor class negative one, they go 15, damage is 1d6. I have a feeling he's, okay, he's using the bow, so we need to change that around. Probably related to the last fight. So again, shield, that's why his armor class was lower. No magic items for him yet, but he's wearing plate mail, using the shield, broadsword, again, bow for necessary stuff. So that's the spirit or our, technically our main tank, but because of the way things work, Jeff is actually the center of our front line. And the reason for that is being a cleric, it gives him the it makes it easier for him to heal the Spirador and Vukrul's. Because we originally had Jeff in the number three spot. But when you put him in the number three spot, when combat starts, it put him on the left side or the right side of the of the line, which means he was too far away from uh Vukrul's to heal him. Because you know, because they're not standing shoulder to shoulder. So you'd have to go around you know, uh, the spirit or whoever is in the way to get to Vukrul's to heal. So instead of doing that, we put Jeff in the number one spot. So he's in the middle of the line. The spirit is on one side, Vukrul's is on the other. So if they need heals, you get to heal them, not just that way. So, and yeah, speaking of healing, <laughs> Vukrul's. Vukrul's the first. Why the first? Because we've already, well, technically, like I said, we should have made it the third, but. He, in our first play, attempted playthrough, Vukrul's had two tragic deaths, and, you know, it got expensive. Actually, he's technically died in this game, too, in this run. Essentially, we, we had enough money to resurrect him this time, so it, it, it should be. Yeah, he's a clone of the first one, but, you know, and again, he's actually died once because you can see his constitution is down to 18. It was 19, that's what the little asterisk means. It means it's uh, been lowered because due to death. So... Anyway, Vukrul's is a dwarf, mountain dwarf uh, fighter. Armor class zero, Thaco 15. Currently wearing a. Uh, using a shield, longsword. Actually, he's supposed to be using a battle axe, plate mail, and battle axe down here. Battle axe and longsword have the same damage, so it's no big deal. But anyway, that's Vukrul's. He's the fighter of the group. Then we have Gimpy. Gimpy is a. Um, Majer Cleric and a White Mage. Uh, Sylvan so the Elf. The Majer Cleric is, um, they get a bonus. To, I think they turn undead at two levels higher than what they normally are. And we're currently three and three. And as far as his items go, 
He's got a staff sling for ranged stuff, mason shield if he has to, and then he's wearing bracers, armor class 6. He was wearing armor before, but that might be, we're not sure, that might have been affecting his ability to cast mage spells. I'm not positive there. We'll have to find out in the next combat. And spells. Yeah, see, for some reason his, uh, that's not all his his mage spells, the two sleep spells. He should have more than two first level spells. I have a feeling it might have been, I don't know what's causing that. Cause literally because Gimpy didn't want to pay for the true resurrection. The true resurrection was way outside of our budget. So unless you want to send a, a loan to the team, lo lots of steel or diamonds, you're going to have to suffer with the constitution penalty. Anyway, here's Gimpy. And we have Hobo the Kender. Hobo is a level 4 ranger. And his items of choice are Hoopak plus 2 and wearing chainmail. We got lucky with that one. We found that not too long ago. And his job is mainly to sit back and hit people with the Hoopak at range and yell at them to make them upset at him. Because it works. And then last but not least, we have Betty. Betty is a Qualen SD Elven Thief of level 5. And her stuff. Uh, short bow, dagger, long sword. Her main job is to sit back and pluck people with bows. But if she has a chance, she can uh, move around and try to backstab and that kind of fun stuff. Backstabbing, the way it's meant to be in Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Not this crappy, stupid sneak attack stuff we have nowadays in modern day Dungeons and Dragons 5.1 and Pathfinder bullshit, where all you have to do is have a, somebody flanking you get sneak attack damage. No, backstabbing the way it was meant to do be done. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. We actually have to get behind somebody and poke them when they're getting poked by somebody else from the front. That's how that works. Anyway, I'm not bitter. <laughs> so, that is our group. And save. And, okay, so. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain what's, what we're seeing on the screen here. Uh, lower right hand corner is the big brown box. That is the auto map, courtesy of the gold box companion that you get when you buy these games now this is not that is not part of the the original game in the original game you had to have a pad of graph paper next to you if you wanted to map out stuff now we have it all automatically done making life easier and then at the bottom of the the game window are the characters that's the character window so you can see everybody's health and stuff um, the gray bars above the green bars we figured out last stream that's their experience bar Originally, we thought it was a, an encumbrance bar, but it's not. It's definitely the experience bar, because you notice it goes up every time after every fight. And once it fills out, it'll turn the color yellow. It means they're ready to level up in one of their classes. And why I say one of their classes, because we do have one multi-class character, and it doesn't tell you what class he's going to be leveling up on, but that's what it'll be. So as you can see at the top of the screen, Vukurul's Hobo, Gimpy, and Betty Desperador are pretty close to leveling up again. Or leveling up so that what does the green text say buffs um, it's it's not it's bonuses of some kind like above root rules it says dwarf ju dwarf giant bonus save bonus and what the hell is that word Thaco bonus I don't know what that's supposed to be um, and then Gimpy, it's 90% resistance, sleep and charm resistance, sorry, 90% sleep and charm resistance for Gimpy. Hobo is dwarf save bonus, gnome, gnome save bonus, no, sorry, gnome thaco bonus, immune to fear, ranger bonus damage, and then Betty is 90% sleep charm resist, that's from being an elf. Yeah, they goes to hit something, so it's a bonus that that stuff goes. But the dwarf save and the dwarf giant bonus. I, the dwarves get bonuses for fighting giant creatures like ogres and giants and stuff. I know he gets a bonus for that. But I don't know what the save is for. I'll probably have to look at the manual for that. Yeah, the, the, a lot of the stuff is from, from race stuff. Like the, the elves have their 90% resist stuff. That makes sense. The candor stuff, same deal. They're not from spells because we don't have any spells on anybody right now. So they're, they're race-related stuff. So, that. Okay, and where are we? You are currently in the Crypts of Throttle. We are... What are we doing exactly in around here? I don't know. 
I forget what we're doing down here. Da -da. So, anyway, so epic graphics, epic sound. Oh yeah, the sound, sound is very quiet, so needs more music. Right now we're just, uh, you know, walking around. I forgot to check. Casting spells. Cure Light Wounds, Blast, Remove, Charm Person. We're missing some spells there, I think. Memorize. I guess not. Looks like we were. Or maybe you can't cast spells. Uh, some spells you can't cast any time you want. Hey, yeah, Gimpy's all ready to go, too. Now, for some reason, Gimpy is not seeing all of his... The spells that he should be getting when he um, Saturday and Sunday, April fifteenth and sixteen are the monthly giveaways for April. A twenty-five dollar Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. Also, please like and comment on his videos. He won't bite. I promise. That's it. Thanks. Yep, that's it. Thank you and happy Tuesday. Okay, so uh, update on the story right now. Apparently, we are. I think we're still chasing some draconians carrying dragon eggs. I think we're still doing that part. Um, and I think that's where I think that's what's going on here. I'm not positive. I forget exactly where we were in the storyline stuff. But anyway, we found out. The, if you're not familiar with the whole Dragonland story, is basically. Um, the bad guys find these uh, dragon eggs belonging to the good dragons, and they use those eggs to do something to them. We don't know exactly what yet. They haven't told us. And I didn't. I just realized I didn't go into that room back here. <laughs> this room, there, on the the map on the the right hand side, basically just north of us, where that little four by four room is. That other little room right right and connected to that room. We didn't go through that door, so I don't know what's in there. And even above that, there's a little three by one room too. We didn't go in there either. So anyway, it's exploring still. Okay, anyway, you hear the vague mutterings ahead along with the clank of armor and the whisper of weapons being unsheathed. What do you do? We attack, of course. What kind of question is this? So, lots of stuff to fight. Where's our fireball? Let's go see what we're fighting. So hobgoblins. Wow, no spellcasters. Go us. Okay, so boss, draconians, some regular warriors, and hobgoblins. Again, yeah, fireball would be nice. Um, Gimpy. Spell cat. What should we cast? We don't need that. Bless would be okay. Or we can do a sleep. Or we can just wait for him to get closer and do that. Let's do that. We'll just do bless for now. Aunt Betty, start shooting. Betty likes to kill stuff. And Hobo, I think they're too far away for the yell, so we'll wait until they get a little closer. Okay, the spirit ore. You sit here and guard. Keep these spells ready to go. So this is Bless. Bless is it gives everybody a bonus to their to hit. And it only affects people who are currently not engaged with an enemy, which is everybody for us. Downside to Bless is it only lasts for six rounds. I 
just realized Vukuros and Betty have almost identical outfits. Okay, Jeff. What spells can Jeff do for us? I think he can charm somebody. I hope somebody's close enough. Yes, he is. Okay, so Mr. Warrior is charmed, so he's going to be fighting for us, and hopefully he lives longer than a turn or two. But someone who has recently broken up with an enemy. What about them? They can't be blessed. They're doomed. They were, they were with the enemy, so... Smart Hobgoblin. Get over it one day. Someday they will. He needs to work on that accuracy. Oh. Ow. They just hit food crawls. Came in and just smacked the Ukrals in there. Here, a little fighter person is doing well. Oh, it was like one point of damage. Good miss. Should we move? Good miss. Oh, actually. See if the yell works. See if the actual range on it, maybe. Ah, it actually goes pretty far out. I thought it was going to be shorter than that. Oh, yeah, and as you can see, the brown map, it, uh, it, it changes based on the situation. Nice little tool. You can see everybody's hit points real easily. You can see everybody's located. How's our warrior doing down there? I think he's only taking one hit, it looks like. And Vuku's lost his weapon stuck in the Draconian, because that's what happens. And Jeff lost his weapon for killing the Draconian. We said, did we meet any liches yet? No, not yet. Someday. Someday. Um, Gimpy has a whole person. Let's do this. It's a whole. We'll hold the fighter because they're more dangerous than draconians and hobgoblins, mainly because of their hit points. Oh, that's right, that doesn't affect uh, draconians, I forgot. It affects hobgoblins, but draconians. Anyway, warriors are held, so we just kill them real easy. You almost killed somebody. Good job. Hobgoblin. Go Betty. Jeff, you are missing a weapon, I believe. Yeah, his flail got stuck in uh, one of the draconians, so I gotta switch over to a mace. lost his weapon too, right? Yep. Okay, longsword it is. Go for the easy kill, Vukrils. Always go for the easy kill. Ugh. See, that wasn't an easy kill. 
I almost got that one. Okay, those little charm fighters put a good fight down there, isn't it? Oh. Betty with almost the kill. Or sorry, no, that was Hobo with the kill. Uh oh, our fighter down there is not doing so well anymore. We got splatted. Jump fighter. Spiriter lost his weapon. Eat draconians. And we're down. Oh no, he's not down yet. The other one was fleeing. Can't give me kill this one so they don't have to. There we go. Yeah, we go to auto to help our little friend out. Oh, he's running. Escape is blocked. Put on auto to chase. Got him. Where are they? Gelatinous cubes? Who? Which ones? No. 221 experience. So, doing so well. I like how they do with the characters do a little dance after we win combat. I don't know if anybody's Gimpy noticed that yet. Gimpy is raising money for the National MS Society for the tenth year in a row here on Twitch. Walk MS 2023 in San Diego is April 22nd, but Mrs. Gimpy, Mickey, Rocket, and Gimpy will be doing private walks in April and May. They are walking one mile for every thousand dollars raised. If you would like to help with a donation, Please visit stompingoutms.org. Thank you. Yep, thank you. And if you have any questions about walkingms.org, please feel free to ask or just check out the site and learn a little bit more about me, my experience living with multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed back in 2004. It's the main inspiration for doing these fundraisers. So, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Dun, dun, dun. I take everybody's bows back off. Mukul's with the battle axe. It's his favorite weapon, right? Gimpy's fine. These guys should be fine. Okay. Still treasure. Oh, oops. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? Yes. You're going to detect magic. Share the money, take the stuff. So, we're pretty loaded, I think. Yes, you're overloaded. That was Jeff. Carry too much stuff. We fill up, fill up on stuff too quickly. I think we're done. Uh, no. Actually, let's... I'm going to go back this way. I want to check out that room. Oh, look, it's poop. Locked. Aha, uh -huh, picked it. But why? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, uh, let's uncap. Save. No. Magic. It's a special spell, so those are charm for 
Jeff. Gimpy. He did the bless. And then he did a whole person. Yes, for some I don't understand. Gimpy doesn't have access to his mage spells for some reason. Or at least his lower level ones. I don't know why. And this is in the same pool as the, the cleric ones, maybe? Is that what's going on? That might be it. Oh. Anyway. Um, exit fix so they heal up uh, those guys. Dispirit and root rules. Everybody's good. Save. And go to toss. No. Exit. All right. Back we go. Oh, the wrong way. This is the way we want to go. So I get for watching the actual screen where we're supposed to go instead of the map. Pick the lock. Instrument is strewn with brass dragon eggshells. Some evil creatures carrying bags rush out of the door to the south. Uh, this is a cave of some kind, isn't it? That's the doorway they went. Okay, here we go. Your running footsteps fading to the west. Suddenly there is a muffled pair roar of something large and mean. You hear cheering in the distance. Uh oh. Um save. Bravo. Cheering in the distance. Because, you know, they got a dragon. Your shouted orders from the southwest. Hint, hint. That's why we're going north. <laughs> yes, it's a build-up. It's a build-up. Here. They're here, just to the north of us. Footsteps running away to the south. See a mass of hobgoblins and humans standing and waiting in the corridor ahead. Others laden with sacks are running up this corridor and around the corner to the north. What do you do? Uh, ran up the corridor and around the corner to the north. The attack, of course. I see no big numbers up for them. You see, for some reason, Gippy's missing his mage spells. I have a feeling it's because we're using them as cleric spells. Just a guess. Sleep is a mage spell, but these are cleric. So we should probably burn the blast. Cast. Bless. Um, let's... There you are. Guard. 
Start yelling. Yeah. Make them angry. They're all going to want to kill Hobo. At least that's what they think. And the whole purpose of the yell is to... It's basically a free debuff. Because it makes them easier to hit and makes it harder for them to hit us. For a few rounds. It doesn't last very long at all. Probably should have waited. But the good news is I don't see him. Oh, there's two spellcasters. Okay, so... Betty. Betty's job is to hopefully hit these guys. Too far away. Idea is to shoot the spellcasters so they don't cast, because once they take damage, they can't do any more casting for the rest of the round. Now, these are all strong hog goblins. There's our bless. Jeff's turn, so I'm forward one, and cast, Let's see if we can charm somebody. I'd like to charge, charm one of the spellcasters. Nope. It's too far away. Or maybe you can't see him. Too far away, maybe. Okay, so no spellcaster, so how about you? Nope. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Poor warrior. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. Also, please like and comment on his videos. He won't bite. I promise. That's it. Thanks. A poor friendly warrior getting his ass kicked. Okay, Betty. Spellcasters didn't move, so they're still out of range. Help our little friend out. Shoot that guy in the back. Almost got him. We did get him. Double arrows. Forget about the double arrows. Okay, Jeff. You got a whole person. <laughs> they charmed him back. Too funny. Okay, that one. Doing a hold here. That guy, and then. Oh! They didn't charm. That's the guy. That's He's still green, so that means he's still on our side. And that was too far away, it looks like. Are these guys too far away? Is that what's going on? I think they're all too far away for the hold spell. Shit. Damn it. So they're just too far away to uh, be hit by the spells. They're a pretty good distance away. range of range weapons though. Hobo. 
that one. Or not. I say we just stay here and let them come to us. I mean, they're totally fascinated with the Charmed Warrior, so might as well let him deal with him first. Take some damage. Hopefully. Saved out of for them, Kender. Ah, Jeff. We have multiple blesses still to use. Again, too far away. trying to charm the warrior that we charmed and apparently it's not working as well as he'd like. He messed up. Hmm. Yeah, I want to wait for them, their spellcasters to come into our range. Of our spellcasters, hopefully. And they're not moving up, so we gotta wait. Dead hop going. Another shot, another shot. so fascinated with that one word. Too bad I can't heal him from here. That would be hilarious. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Okay, here they come. Could have been shooting arrows at them the whole time, but this is more fun. See, let's wait for them to come to us. Except for the missing part. This guy's almost dead. Now he is dead. Ow. Yeah, if Hobo go after those guys, got a good chance to kill him. Let's see, your lower ones are dangerous. Damage. The spellcasters don't look like they're coming forward, do they? You can't get lucky. Ugh. 
So close. Come on, Jeff, hit him. Good swings. One point of damage on another. Two, two arrows, though, at least. Poor Hobgoblin. Okay, so no more melee for them. That guy's still alive. Okay, so the spellcasters. And they're fleeing. And too far. And we're not going to really be able to catch them, probably because we are fairly encumbered. No auto, though. Uh, um, auto. They are more than likely going to get away. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Okay. Go check so. on the dogs. Your next break is in one hour. Oh, they can't get away, and there's a corner. They're kind of in trouble. So he's fleeing, but he's stuck in a corner. He went to. He made the wrong choice. Okay, so continue battle. No. Two hundred one experience points. Hobo's leveled up. That's what the yellow barish underneath his name means. We have no detect magic. Get all that stuff. All that armor. That's all the stuff's going to waste. Yeah, no problem. Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. So many things. Yeah, the problem is we can't uh, take it. Hysterical sounds of panic and fear come from the corridor, corridor to the west. Um, camp first. Let's save. We're saving Bravo. No. Um, no bag of holding? No. No. Bag of holding. So, second level spell for Jeff. He was hold person, right? Kimpy, memorize. That detect magic we can use. Fix, memorize stuff. All set. Okay, well, that's all done. What we're going to do is uh, save here and. Get up, take a quick break. Be back in a few minutes. Then you can stretch my legs, get some water, see what Mr. Gimpy and the dogs are up to. I'll be back shortly. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.